Comic Zone is a 2D beat-em-up video game with some puzzle solving. Developed and published by Sega in the US for the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive and PC in 1995. Let's take a look at this gem from the 16-bit era. I'm Dio, this is RP Gaming, cue the intro. Comic Zone was developed by Sega Technical Institute, a development division of Sega in the US. STI was responsible for games such as Dick Tracy, Kid Chameleon, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic Spinball, The Ooze, Comic Zone and Die Hard Arcade. Among this team was a young man named Peter Morwick. Peter pitched the idea of Comic Zone to management but it was put on hold because of Sonic Spinball. Yuji Naka wasn't going to be able to finish the work on Sonic 3 till Christmas so Sonic Spinball was to be a stopgap product for that. After the conclusion of the Sonic Spinball project, STI sent some concepts for management approval. Comic Zone was resent in the lot, and Tom Kalinsky remembered it from a previous presentation and gave it the green light. But some changes had to be made to the game. Peter had this skinny and geeky character that went by the name of Joe Pencil. Sega of America marketing team wanted something more muscular a more badass name, and also a psychic, which was something very common in the 90s. Peter went back to the drawing board, pun intended, and came up with Sketch Turner, a starving comic book artist and freelance musician. Peter drew inspiration from Smashing Pumpkins, one of his favorite grunge bands back then. And development was underway. Comic Zone is based on comic books in general. The creative mind of Peter Morwick came up with the idea but it was up to the amazing and talented Tony DiZuniga, the artist and creator of Jonah X and Black Orchid, to immortalize it into paper. Tony's work came inside the American release of the game as a short comic book, giving context to the game's story. There was also another short comic that allegedly came in a gaming magazine of the time. I'll leave some links for you to look it up in the description. The music in the 90s was great and grunge was all over the place. Howard Drossing wrote an amazing soundtrack and also intended on recording an all original song CD to go with the game on release. But marketing decided to go with something else and some of the early releases on the American market came with the American Recordings 1995 CD sampler. Howard still got his wish and recorded the CD with a made up band named Roadkill. Yes, it's the same name as the rat in the game. Howard CD was released with the European version of the game and its PC port, as well as a standalone CD from Sega Tunes. The game is made up of three stages, each with two comic book pages for Sketch to fight his way through. Kill all enemies in one of the comic page panels and make your way to the next. In some cases you can choose between two paths. This makes up for added playability, considering the game is kind of short. There are also some simple puzzle elements for you to figure out, which help to break away from all the punching and kicking. Roadkill, the sidekick that Peter doesn't recall if it was his or Howard Drossin's idea, helps out with most of the problem solving and also helps by finding hidden items on some of the panels. There are also two endings to the game, a good and a bad one. But don't be fooled, Comic Zone is hard and unforgiving. It's nearly impossible to defeat an enemy without taking any damage. There are two continues, one after finishing Chapter 1 and the other after Chapter 2, but you won't find any information about it anywhere in the game manual. It was meant to be played with the 6 button controller, but you can still play it with the original 3 button one. Overall, if you happen to find it on one of Sega's bundle releases, you should try it out. I believe some of these have safe states, which help out considering the game's difficulty. I have also found some websites that claim that the original PC version from 1995 is abandonware and is free for download. Not sure about this last one, but feel free to look it up for yourself.